mongers while celebrating his trans son for Pride Month. Deep video, deep topic today. <laughs> this one I like. Now, most people are they say they're scared to speak on this because they say you get canceled or whatever the case is. But like I said, I come from unbiased spaces, so. And y'all gotta see what he said to you. like. So for me, I just speak on the truth about scenarios. I can say this Pride Month now and being on the other side, because I'm not gonna use certain words, being on the other side is like racism, basically. It's like you basically dealing with racism. Even if you're not, let's say if it's a white person that's um, on the other side or trans or, you know they still will get that same type of hate. So it's like racism. I feel like that's why the month is made because I've seen it in the comment section. How do veterans not get a whole month? But, uh, pride. Man, I could go, I ain't gonna go that deep with the veteran side because I'm not, nah. I'm leaving the veteran side alone, but I could understand with the with the pride because it's, it's naturally people that's going to just hate it. Like, how black people like how there's a white person who hate black people but you gotta always understand it's awareness levels that's what i try to tell people it's awareness levels when you understand there's deeper things and more things in your own personal life and certain things that's more crucial to worry about people will start to truly understand like why it's pointless to even get mad like me personally i don't get offended even if i see a person like of course if somebody's trying to straight r you the r word y'all know what i mean they're trying to r you and force you or something super crazy of course but if people not even bother you they're just existing and stuff like that come on man it's like people have to understand as humans we do have something called power and control people use religion to go against it say oh abomination all this religion there's so many different religions so many i just let's keep it 100 we're gonna get some more gems so let's see what these comments say we gotta see what the comments are saying early how do you celebrate your child by taking pictures of yourself um, I think he's just showing like this is a father that's down for their um, child but isn't he on the other side I believe he's on the other side so why wouldn't he like I don't get it what's people confused about we heard about that I've heard about that one of the uh, brothers the Wayne brothers being on the other side his family been promoting it from the 90s Satan money isn't free okay he got to support his child, man. He has a trans son, so the ritual continues. They confuse the truth with hate because they love their hell. His son, white chicks, and want to be daddy. Saw white chicks all stabbed. Oh, damn, I forgot he was playing that white chick. They're going to say... I love God, blah, 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 but your child is abomination and a disgrace. You, you, but you're allowing it, so now you're a disgrace and abomination as well. God damn. See, it's like a war. It's just like how the men and women war is going right now, like how men and women are arguing. And it's because people are just losing their qualities. I give up this, the number one gems here. It's literally all mental shit. We're not doing nothing else. Always remember, I'm telling you that. It's all happening in here. That's why, even to people who are straight, that's why you'll have people who's trans and they'll express that because more things is happening up here. Like, yes, you have other bodily organs and stuff too, but... The mind is really the key thing that makes us run. That's, I always tell people, if we wasn't talking, if we wasn't having certain thoughts or having a certain, like a thought book, because everybody got their own little thought, like bag of thoughts in their head and stuff like that. And I could care less for what anybody does. I know I'm straight. I do what I do. It's not even a thought like, oh, snap. Oh, what they're doing out here? Ah, abomination. Like, I don't even, like, I feel like all that is the hate energy that the world is trying to push. Because it's social media. You see this now. I've been had, um... Cousins who's on the other side of my family So it's like It has never been like some stuff Where it's like Oh my god I gotta express to them Or I gotta Try to force to change them Or some type of craziness Like I don't get it bro I'm not I'm not understanding What people so OD about But I know that y'all Probably been sitting here Reading this comment And I'm like yo Here's the thing with this 
it is going to be very different to people when they're seeing this type of stuff because it's new it's like yes there's always been like this back in the day but social media makes it more up there and it makes it more it's like when people a whole bunch of people can see everybody connecting and doing something i feel like social media just makes more things normed out in society now it makes it more normal honestly truthfully you failed as a father is what i'm hearing I should have my niece F you with her strap on. See now, this is where it gets bad. It's like, how can I put it? It's the same way how there's black people who got money, who's wealthy right now, who's successful, that they made it past that point where it's like, without, because some people be like, oh, the devil, I'm, I'm trying to cater to two sides right now, so please trying to cater i'm in the middle that's the that's the space where i'm just chilling at. i'm not you know, and when i say in the middle it's not even like i'm on both sides no sides you know what i mean but it's like it's like when when that black person is successful you reach that space he you could see that there could be a poor white person while you're wealthy and then you get to a certain humbleness of an understanding, like, damn, a lot of this just the trap and stuff. Like, some people actually get into battles with white people or do something where they crash out, they go to jail, they lose the opportunity because of some type of race thoughts that was in their mind. They just couldn't stay on a straight path. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of things people will start to sit back and think and look like, damn, it's just like kind of like a everyone for themselves. It's like a Hunger Games. Everyone's for themselves. Yes, there's higher classes and stuff like that, but everyone's for themselves and everyone has a shot and an opportunity. That is literally how it is. You have your natural attributes that's just God given to you, but everybody has that shot to try to go in the society world and do, do, you know? One thing I want to also tell people too, why are you getting so mad? Why are people getting so angry when there's Pride Month? That is, that's literally like the God, that final end. That's like the final end of the government. What is people get... This is what I mean. People build themselves up with that little hate toxins. They don't realize like how special our human body is when we just have a certain thoughts and our body's letting off hormones. Y'all think, oh, that's just for animals and certain shit. Like people just lose track. It's like, it's you're going to have things in your own life that play out that's going to hurt you, make you sad. That's, that's, this is just pointless. Unless this is an outlet for people to just, oh, I want to go in here. It's pointless. Now, he said, I'm not a regular. Don't come for me. Just quietly unfollow and F off. I will make you, you could tell he's triggered too, like by this. Like, it has to get to the point for them, like how I guess they would say it was. You no, know, black people still be crashing out if, if, it's, if somebody is a racist. I just seen some, a post on Twitter of some guy taking his neighbor out because he did that. Like, just the word alone, like, God damn. On my platform, I support F. F, I choose D heads like this. Try to bully, and I'm not that guy again. At the pre, he says, trying to bully. Like, it's not. See, it's that's what I mean, too. That's another thing, too. What I want to put on, I feel like honestly, if people are what they would, if you want to say on that other side or there, that's their energy, that's how they think, that's what they want to live. There will be more feminine energy on that side. More than masculine, if people understand in a sense. So there is more sensitivity there to where they're just, you'll see, you're going to see these battles play out all the time. But it's just like on Call of Duty. Like, I played on Call of Duty, had a whole bunch of white guys call me that word. And over time, yo, you just, it just became like normal. You just numb to it to the point they're not even calling you that no more. They don't even want to call you that no more. You know, and that's how the lobbies was. You'll go up, you'll match up against another clan. This clan is a little racist. It was like that back in the days in Call of Duty. So, and it became normal like nothing. Wow, you can see another person outside of you react in a way where he wants to crash out. So, words are spells. That's another thing I want people to know. Words are spells, they can get to you. So, little stuff that can get to him like this, like he fell as a father, maybe. Maybe he is battling or, you know, it's not as easy for him and stuff be coming out. You know, it's like, like be all in the mixer. I need to know what y'all think about this, man. 
There's a lot of people that's like on both sides. Marlon said, hold my poodle. Marlon about to go Kendrick on all these haters. How am I supposed to know when I woke up this morning that Marlon Wayans was going to be my favorite person of the day? See, it's like he's getting new fans. Um, then he's getting the, the hate wave side. It's like, it's crazy. And it's like this now because of social media. I always tell people this. Oh, gee, the jabs. You watch this full video, like, think about this right now. If social media was not here to where you could post a picture of you with the prize stuff like that, you could do this, how would things be interacting? Like how they used to be back in the day. I grew up in that po in that point of time to understand like things was like that before everybody was just posting everything to Facebook, this, that, or that, MySpace, anything like that. Interactions happen in real life. And sometimes it, it, it barely played out depending on what area you in, who you around, you know, so it will be less on a percentage level of having the hate being heightened. But now I told you guys, social media is like, Gasoline to problems. Like if you take problems to social media or certain battles, play it. Gasoline. It's just back and forth. I'm I'm back and forth in this. Weird comment. How y'all not finding that weird? It is. It is. It is a triggered comment. That's why I said like it is a. He's triggered. That to say that he is triggered. A hundred percent. He's triggered by that. And he probably goes through certain things naturally already in his real life. Like, just because they celebrities don't mean nothing. He probably goes through certain stuff naturally. And then to deal with the internet. The internet is free. It's free people. It's like, probably in his area where he be at with his people, he probably don't really have to worry about too much because he probably maybe could be around like-minded people. But when it comes to social media, yeah, you're going to get all types of people with their own opinions, own thoughts. So you got to be ready to come for it. So this is like kind of, yeah, it's out of character. I should have my niece F you a strap on how old is your niece You know what I mean Why is that a type of thing Like okay this is a guy You want to just demasculate and, Okay you think You want to be so stuck on me <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Threatening someone with rape Yikes <laughs> Yo Yeah he's doing a video go Yo, for real? Threatening someone. <laughs> Ooh. Mar, he's so mad. And it's like, yo, when I see him, bro, I just think of like the movies. Like, that's the only thing that hits me, like the movies. But he probably really like different person in person. But I just think of the movie character, bro. So it's like, I can't even take him serious. And I can't even be mad at him. I don't know how to put it. There's no need to be mad at him for anything. But you know what I mean? I don't know how to put it. Like, when I look at him, I just think of the movies. Yo. Somebody said instant unfollow. Nah, I love you more. He tearing up the deadbeats in the home foes today. Love you, my great friend. You're a great man. It's crazy how grown men are crying over this. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I feel like when you really, like, manly, manly, masculine, and you don't have power, you, and your power, everybody gonna have some type of power and control issues, but you don't have strong power and control issues over people and trying to control people's mind. You, people know what I'm talking about when you're just in that little state of you want people to think how you think and move. Bro, this same energy with the trans people happens in religion. Like two people could be straight, trust me. And they could just have different beliefs. And I've watched the battles get toxic and then it's the non-connecting and the non-agreeing. I've seen it, I've seen it. So I can't even take stuff like this serious meaning like, Oh, to judge somebody like it's too many things like once I get too deep once I get too deep not even too deep like I'm using the wrong words, but once I break stuff down make sense out of stuff like it's so much other worse stuff too like people don't even know like to me this just be nothing like honestly it doesn't move me it doesn't make me itch 
like, the, like nothing. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how, I don't know how people get so triggered over it. I feel like a guy who's straight, 100% is worried. Like, I'd be worried about what I'm like, what the, I can get more out of my girl. Like, I don't even be thinking, like, that's what I mean. Like, it's like, how do people even have time? Like, this is a group, this is different types of people. Let y'all know. See, I'm making a video on it just to talk in a perspective of like how both sides waste time. Because both sides do. If you do what you do, you waste time. Until somebody's naturally attacking you, fist on, that's when. But it's a free world where everybody can talk shit. Like, that's, that's just, I learned that from YouTube. Just being a YouTuber. So... Oh yeah, that's my point. I almost lost it. When you get to that point where I feel like, yeah, I feel like this, you got, I don't know. I mean, let me go back. So, yeah, this battle is kind of tough, like, it's a tough battle. I know I've learned in life how people view people who's on the other side. They'll have natural itches inside them. Internal things based off of thoughts. Um, religion or just what they learned from what was right or wrong. It's the, it's the same way how they are strong. They're fixed. Like nine times out of ten, do you see a lot of people who is on the other side who's fixed in that. They're old. they still the same way. You know what I mean? So... Is people going to want to fight that battle? Like, that's what I mean. I think it's like, shouldn't you waste of time? Like, you want to fight that battle? This person about to be old and they still just think the same way? Like, what was the goal? That's what I'm telling you. It's just mental shit playing out. And I feel like it's a waste of energy in a person's brain if you're straight. Like, who cares? Let them do what they're doing. See, we're going to get to the key factor. This is what's, I think, most men or families, women, however you want to put it, could be afraid of the f fact of the power of influence. Like, cartoon shows will play, and kids, the cartoon shows will do certain things, and the kids will mimic it and stuff like that. The power of influence, I feel like that's the main thing, just coming from an honest standpoint, that's what people are scared of. And I feel like everybody has that right to be whoever you are to have a strong enough influence to influence your surroundings around you to be into what you are into think I guess how you want to think that's I think that'd be the main battle that's what I see more times of they're not going to force it down my throat or force it down my face and I guess a scenario where they can say them getting it forced down their throat down their face is when let's say you naturally call somebody that's dressed like a woman that you think is a person when they say the you know the pronouns Let's say you call them a man and they don't want to even be called that. Then it could cause a fight if they get emotional. And we've seen videos like that, but I'm pretty sure not everybody's like that. You know what I mean? It's levels to each little area. You know what I mean? Like, it's levels to the hood. There's going to be some dudes in the hood who's cool. There's some who could still take you out, but they, you know, it could be so. I can make so much analogies up, but I need to know what y'all think about this in the comments below. Do y'all partake into this? Do y'all waste y'all time? Does it make you itch? Me personally, I could never be canceled by because I've done have people in my family who's in that same energy has never bothered me. See, when you can deal with stuff in real life, come to the internet, it's nothing. So I can never get canceled. So I could feel like I could always speak on this because I know how to speak. I'm not going to talk trash to neither side. Both sides could feel how they want to. See, when you're in the middle, not even in the middle. When you just observing, you like sitting on the outside, knowing certain things is pointless. Boom. But the power of influence, though. Some people could look at certain influences and just be so strong. Pull my kid in or something like that. You know, they probably have thoughts like that or something. I don't know. Gotta be something along the lines like that to why they even want to be like, oh, we don't even want to see this. Get this out of here. You're trying to turn over our kids. And it's like, not necessarily, because we've seen, I've, I've seen stuff as a kid, but it didn't make me go there. So, mm -hmm. it's a big, it's always been a big topic. All right, y'all hit that like, let me know what y'all think. I'll see y'all in the next one.
Thank you.